The successful results of a test project, once referred to as Toilet to Tap, now called Pure Water San Diego, will be presented this week to a city council committee as a viable source of drinking water and a lower cost alternative to building another sewage treatment facility in Point Loma. Here with the details are Hala Razak with San Diego's Public Utilities Department and Sean Duane with Orange County's Water Department, home to the world's largest water purification system for drinking water. Welcome to Evening Edition. Thanks very Thank much. You. It's great to be here. Good to have you. Hala, a 20-year EPA exemption requiring a, another sewage treatment facility in San Diego uh, runs out next year. How would the pure water reuse plan uh, get the city off the hook for building that secondary waste treatment facility uh, at an estimated cost of around $2 billion? We are, the city of San Diego is working on a plan to try and convince the EPA that by allowing us to treat further the recycled water that we have, that we would not need to then go into secondary treatment. I also want to dispel the name of the toilet to tap because it really is not an accurate reflection of what exactly that we are doing. We, it is a very scientific process. We're doing several treatment uh, processes to get to the uh, result water that will be deposited in a reservoir for an extended period of time before it is treated again and introduced to the water supply. And I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to ask uh, Sean, uh, Orange County is considered a global success in uh, potable water use. I guess you reuse about 70 million gallons of wastewater annually. Give us a thumbnail, um, like Holly was saying, on how the process works. How do you filter this water? Well, it's a three-step process, and in the final step, we use a solid plastic membrane at the molecular level, and we force the water through so that only hydrogen and oxygen molecules appear on one side, and everything else is left behind, pharmaceuticals, bacteria, viruses, everything. And then you actually uh, put that, it, you don't, it doesn't actually go in a reservoir in Orange County, correct? Our reservoir is called the groundwater basin, and it's Mother Earth, so we return it back to Mother Earth. Okay, so then that is also some more filtering that, that's added to it. Um, right now, I understand the city of San Diego imports about 77% of our water from the Sacramento Bay Delta and also from the Colorado River. Hala, how much of San Diego's water supply uh, from reused water would be used if the Pure Water Plan was fully implemented? By 2035, we are hoping that 40% of our water supply will be coming from Pure Water. Oh, okay, so that's a, a large increase that could help on, on our drought situation as well. Now, Sean, the ick factor, as we call it here, derailed wastewater purification plans back in the 90s here in San Diego. What kind of outreach did you do in OC to, to get public acceptance and support of the idea? We did thousands of public outreach meetings, and we uh, engaged citizen ambassadors to go out and advocate on behalf of the district so that they would understand the science, the technology, and the uh, process under which we were doing this, and so that they became comfortable with the process, and naturally, as a result of them talking talking with their neighbors and their family and friends, other people became comfortable too. And it's so popular now that you're, you're actually expanding, as you said. Yes, that's right. We're going from a 70 million gallon a day process to 100 million gallons a day, and then there will be phase three to 130 million gallons per day. Per day, yes. yes. I, I think I had said annually before, but it's per really day. per day, which it's is a lot, a lot of water. A lot of water. Um, how, how do you think, uh, or I should ask you, do you think that San Diegans are more open to the idea now? I believe so. We have had a demonstration project that's been operating thing since 2011. We've had over 5,000 people going through the plant and seeing the process and what it takes to get us to that point. And I believe from the polling that we've done that people are starting to understand the science and all the testing that goes on and the comfort level is definitely increasing for this technology to proceed. In a, how much do you think this will, if indeed this is implemented fully, how much is it going to cost? So right now San Diego is at the fork of the road. We can either do this or we can um, continue to buy expensive imported water supplies and convert to secondary treatment. The difference between both options is over a quarter of a billion dollars by the year of 2035. And this will really create a locally controlled new water source that is drought proof, uh, disaster proof, and climate change proof. This is really the right solution for San Diego. Well, we certainly have a lot more on our website, kpbs.org. Uh, Hala Razek and Sean Duane, thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you.